What is going on guys and welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin and man oh man have these last 24 hours been kind of insane in terms of the MLB labor negotiations. There have been deadlines, there have not been deadlines, there have been all sorts of different stuff. So what I'm going to do before we get into today's videos, I'm going to give you a quick recap as to all the information that I have right now as I'm recording on Tuesday at 8 p.m. So far, what we've got is that the MLB owners yesterday, on Monday, told the players, hey, look, if we can get a deal done by Tuesday night, we will have a full 162-game season. Whether that means Rob Manfred was using canceling games as a bargaining tactic, or if they're going to add games to the end of the season or sprinkle them throughout, we don't really know yet. But what we do know is that there is still a potential for a full Red Sox season this season, which is kind of cool. We also got news that if a deal is not done by Tuesday night, they're going to cancel another week of games, which for the Red Sox means they are canceling the series in New York and they're canceling the series in Detroit. However, as I am talking to you now, we are getting word that people seem to think that there might be a very good possibility of a deal getting done by Wednesday. Now people are speculating that the deadline was moved out. It's, it's been insane. It's been nuts. It's been so hard to follow. But honestly, I'm pretty excited. This is one of the first times through this entire lockout where there have been genuine compromises between both sides. The MLB is coming up on issues. The union is coming down on issues. We are starting to get somewhere i'm still holding out hope for that 162 game season but i'm not confident that it will happen you guys will most likely know by the time you're watching this what's going on but i wanted to give you an update of what i know in case you haven't been paying attention as for the actual content in today's video though we finally have some red sox spring training news no, it's not Xander Bogarts and Rafael Devers, but it's news about the future Fenway stars. The minor leaguers started their minor league spring training camp this week, and what I did is I took all of the major headlines of the first week, and I'm going to wrap them up into one video for you. Your one-stop shop for Red Sox news. That's what this channel has always been. So we're going to continue that even without the actual Red Sox team. But before I get into all of that, do me a favor and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We are only 40 subscribers away from that giveaway. I just secured our Tanner Houck and Connor Siebold cards. They're both autographed. And I'm also giving away an Alex Verdugo signed card. All three cards go to someone for free once we hit 500 subscribers. Also make sure that you guys have hit that like button as well. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. The first major headline is that Alex Cora is sporting a beard. No, I'm kidding. That is not the real headline. But I did want to point out that his beard does look good. And I would be down for another bearded Red Sox team like 2013. I think this team has the perfect personality for it. The real news story is that Alex Cora is just down there. It's the first time since December whatever when the lockout started that we have seen Alex Cora in any sort of capacity on or with Red Sox players. Even if they are future Red Sox players. So to me, I'm very excited about this stuff it means that baseball is in the air whether that's in the form of minor league baseball or major league. the second piece of news I have for you guys is that there were a couple players during this first week of minor league spring training whose position kind of surprised me those were that was Alex Benellis and Blaze Jordan I've done Fenway Futures on both of those so if you don't know who those guys are head over to my channel and click on that playlist but Alex Benellis and Blaze Jordan were playing first base now, both of them are natural third basemen who were drafted as third basemen. And in my opinion, Blaze Jordan makes perfect sense at first base. The problem with both of them being over there is that there's only one spot in the majors. You now have Bobby, Tristan, Blaze, and Benellis. Now, I understand that Blaze and Benellis are pretty far away. But it's still something to think about in the future because all of those guys are super young. However, Blaze was doing very well at the position. Looked pretty natural. I know he's played there some before. And Alex Benellis, it looks like to me personally, he's still getting used to the position. I know in my video I said he did some time at first base. It didn't go too well. So hopefully he gets the training and confidence he needs over there to do well and succeed. The next piece of news I have for you guys 
is that Thaddeus Ward threw his first BP since coming back from Tommy John. If you don't know who Thaddeus is, because I have not made a Fenway Futures on him, he is a pitching prospect for the Red Sox. And unfortunately, his 2021 season was pretty limited, if at all, because of this Tommy John surgery. So it's cool to see him back out there working on it. And hopefully he's back to full form by the time the MLB season kicks back in. I don't think he'll be a part of the 23rd, 2022 team, but he could definitely be on there in 2023 or 2024. The next piece of news I want to talk about is Nico Cavadas. Now, there isn't a ton of news on him. I just wanted to mention that he started hitting today. And Nico is one of those guys. He was drafted in 2021 in a very late round. But in my opinion, he could be a fairly decent name in the major league sometime. I don't know about superstar, but I think he's going to be a good player. So I wanted to put him on there to ask you guys guys who you think is an underrated prospect in the Red Sox farm system. Let me know in the comments down below who's a guy that's not the big names like York or Mayer or Jordan or any of those guys, but you could see having a big impact on the Red Sox in the future. And obviously, it would not be a spring training minor league recap video without mentioning Nick York, Marcelo Meyer, or Tristan Cassis. Nick York and Meyer look pretty good. There's no real big news to report on them. They're hitting well, they're fielding well. They're doing top prospect stuff and it is fantastic to see we finally get some baseball. And as for Tristan Cassis, there was a video that surfaced of him and Alex Cora having a conversation. I'm not entirely sure what Alex Cora's limits are on what he can talk to with these minor league players and what he can do during this minor league spring training. Again, cool to see him down there, but even cooler seeing him talk with Cassis, who is probably our most anticipated prospect in 2022. My hope is that when they are talking right there, they're talking about what his impact on the Red Sox will look like in 2022, where his position lies with the team, that sort of thing. I Realistically, probably not. They're probably talking about what kind of chewing tobacco he wants after the game or what kind of bubble gums in the bowl and the... Uh, dugout but still in my mind they are going over full on Tristan Cass's Boston takeover and that is it that's it for this week they're just starting up spring training camp I'll keep you guys updated as long as there is no MLB news I do want to make this a primarily Red Sox channel I know I've been doing a lot of minor league stuff and that's because it's all we have to talk about um, but I not that I don't love talking about our minor league players, but I am probably going to focus more on Red Sox players as we go forward. Again, let me know if you like this kind of recap video. I had a lot of fun doing it, so let me know if you want to see these in the future. As always, make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button. Again, we are only 40 followers away from that three autograph card giveaway. Also, make sure you guys have hit that like button as well. You made it to the end of this video, which means you clearly enjoy the content. Thank you all very much for clicking on this video and I will see you in the next one.